So when I was 30 years old, I was miserable. I was working in a job I didn't like. I was in debt. I was in a relationship where I felt trapped. And I just wasn't living the life that I had imagined I would live in my early teens and 20s. I felt like a failure in a lot of respects because I was just an average person working an average job, living an average life. And I felt like the world had promised me all this opportunity and these exciting options. And there I was every day sitting in my cubicle, staring at the window of my office, just thinking, is this it? Is this my life for the next 40 years? And I just couldn't deal with the idea that this was all there was to life. Fast forward 14 years and I'm now 44 years old and I'm in a position where I live a life that I'm very excited about. I live in a place that I love, I'm in an amazing relationship and I have a career that I'm excited about where I feel like I'm using my skills and I'm making an impact. Am I a millionaire? No. Have I solved every one of my life problems? No. I still have problems and frustrations, but the difference is that I now feel empowered. I feel like I'm living a life that is actually suited to me and I've broken out of the social norms that I felt I was struggling with. And that's why I wanted to create this video because lately I've had several people reach out to me via email, via DM or via messages in the YouTube chat, just saying that they're in a similar position that I was when I was 30. They're working in a job they don't like. They're in a relationship they don't like. They're spending time around people who aren't energizing them. They're not not feeling like life is as exciting as it used to be or, or, or as it could be. And that's the thing I want to share with you today in this video. I want to give you six different ideas of things that I personally did that helped me to change my life from one of feeling trapped and miserable into someone who felt empowered and like life was under my control and it was going in a great direction. Again, I want to state that I don't have all the answers. I'm not some millionaire guru who has solved life's great mysteries. I'm just a guy who who has figured things out for themselves and is maybe five or 10 years ahead of where you are watching this video. And my core message here is just to say to you that you can find ways to change your life and to start over at the age of 30 if you really want to. So the first thing that I did in my 30s that dramatically changed how I was living my life and how I felt about my life was to change my environment. At the time I was living in Sydney, Australia, and I'd always had this dream of living abroad somewhere, of doing something totally out of the box. And it took me several years but I was able to find a way to move to the United States of America. At the time I had to sell everything that I owned, I had to figure out how to pay off some debts before I could go, I had to get all the visas set up and everything like that. It took me around two, two and a half years to be able to actually move but finally in 2010 at the age of 32 I moved from Australia to the United States to California and after about three weeks of living here I knew that it was the right place for me. I knew that it was the right place because because I felt fresh, I felt alive. Nobody knew me, I didn't know anybody. It was a completely new environment and I had to reinvent and I had to start over again at the age of 32. And to me, that was very exciting. It was also very scary, but it gave me a new lease on life because I felt like I was 20 years old again, just kind of figuring life out for the first time. Your environment is not fixed. It might feel like it. It might feel like it's safe or you're in a comfort zone or maybe you have to live where you live right now, but I promise you that you don't. There are ways to get around it. If for some reason you're really happy with where you live or you, you have to stay where you are, another option is to start traveling. Find ways to take little vacations or to get away or to experience different cultures once or twice a year. Even this can be a way to improve and to freshen up your perspective in life. But my most important message here is that you are not stuck where you are right now. You can change your environment. You can take the risk to move. And I promise you it will have a big impact if you give it a shot. The next thing that I did in my 30s that dramatically changed how I felt about my life was to improve my skills. And specifically in my life, this meant to become better at public speaking. I was working in a job where I had to give speeches occasionally and I was terrified. So I made the decision to join a local Toastmasters group and to start to improve my speaking skills. Was I amazing straight away? No, I was bad for a couple of months and I was terrified every time I would go to the meetings, but I was determined to improve my skills and get just a little bit more confident and a bit more competent. And the reason I share this is because there are so many things that you can do in 
your life, skill-wise, where you can improve yourself, you can change yourself, you can enhance your abilities that will make you feel better about yourself. There's something in your life that you've always wanted to do that will make you feel better about yourself and will potentially open up new options for you, whether career-wise or in your social life, if you focus on that skill. Don't worry about the results so much you get from learning the skill, just focus on learning the skill and you'll notice that it makes you feel better about yourself because you're proactively changing yourself and you're improving in a way that matters to you personally. The third way that I changed my life in my 30s was to improve my physical image. Now, when I got out of my relationship in my mid 30s, like most people, I decided to get back in shape because I let myself go a little bit. I wanted to be attractive if I went out on dates and I had to spend time going to the gym. I started walking every morning. I started doing some yoga to help me to feel better about myself physically, to get some mobility, some strength, to lose some weight. And amazingly, just spending and investing some time in my physical image made me feel totally different about myself. These things matter. And especially for men watching this, I would encourage you not to let yourself fall out of looking good and feeling good about yourself. Men, especially in our 30s, we tend to start to let our physical appearance start to diminish and start to deteriorate. And that doesn't have to happen. It's up to you to keep on track, to create routines and to find ways to actually improve and enhance your physical image. I promise you the time you invest, whether it's half an hour a day or an hour a day or whatever it is, will pay dividends in terms of confidence, in terms of a sense of empowerment and a sense of control in your life. The fourth way that I started over in my 30s was to start a new hobby. Now, very often when we get into our 30s, we think that the fun times in our life are over, right? We spend our 20s or our teens partying and having a good time. When we're in our 30s, now we have to knuckle down, we have to be serious, we have to focus on building a retirement income or whatever. Yes, it is important to have stability in life, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your life. If you have an interest or a hobby, it doesn't matter how silly it is, you can pursue it when you're in your 30s. And in fact, it can make life so much richer. I've shared this in other videos, but I have been teaching myself and learning from a friend how to play guitar for the past two years. Am I any good at it? Not really. Do I ever have aspirations to become a rock star? No, but I love to play guitar. I love the sound of it. I love the feeling of playing it. And it gives me a new lease on life that I didn't have before. So I would encourage you in your life, there is something that you want to do that you are interested in. It might be a hobby or a passion, something that you've always wanted to try, or maybe you used to do that you've kind of given up. Revisit it, get back into it, and do it just for yourself. And I promise you, it will give you that new sense of joy and energy that you've kind of been missing since you got into your late 20s and early 30s. Life is not just all about progressing. It is about enjoying the journey. And one of the best ways to do that is to have a broad range of interests. The fifth way that I started over in my 30s was to change my social group. Now, obviously, when I moved countries, I was very far away from all my old friends and family and I had to meet new people. I had to build new connections. But even if you are in the same environment, there are things that you can do to improve and to change your social group. And one of the things I would say here is don't get stuck in the idea that you only have to be friends with people who are the same age as you. I have friends who are in their 50s and 60s and 70s. I have friends who are 25 years old. It just depends on our interests and our connections. And you have to proactively build those connections, realize that you have something in common with these people and make plans with them. I made another video all about this idea of being generative, of being the person who plans things, creates events and invites people. Make that a part of who you are as you reinvent yourself in your late 20s and early 30s. Don't fall into the trap of just hanging around the same people or the same age group. Realize that life is incredibly rich and varied and a big part of that is the people that you spend time with. So take the time to invest in new activities, new hobbies, changing your environment and as a result you will expand and meet new people and you will improve improve your social group and as a result, yourself. And the sixth and final way that I started over in my 30s was to take risks. Now, I know this is a general broad statement, but it's really a mindset that I wanted to share with you. Very often, when we get into our late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, there is a tendency to start to become risk averse. In fact, it's been proven through psychological studies. As we get older as humans, we start to take less risks in our lives. We fit more into a mold and more into our comfort zone. Well, I would challenge you in the world that you live in, today, it is completely open and a big part of you experiencing more and living an exciting life is to take some risks. 
What I'm saying is there are things in your life that you want to do that might risk rejection or failure, or there might be some uncertainty involved, whether it is meeting people or trying a new hobby or moving to a new place. Have the mentality that I am a risk taker. I am going to push myself. I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to break free of this risk aversion that starts to creep into people's lives at the age of 30. Taking risks is one of the best ways to feel alive in your life. Yes, sometimes you fail. Sometimes you look like an idiot. Sometimes people laugh at you, but who cares? At least you're living your best life. You're doing something with the time that you have and you're challenging yourself and you're expanding your comfort zone. My friend, as I said in the beginning, when I was 30 years old, I was miserable because I didn't realize that life was incredibly open and that your 30s are for living. There is a cultural mindset or meme or norm or whatever you wanna say where people think once you get to 30 years old, you have to settle down. The truth is yes, life is more structured, life is more consistent, but it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be mediocre. It doesn't have to make you feel trapped. You have the choice of how you live your life day to day, where you live, who you spend time with, what kind of things you do with your time. And just adding one of these little elements to your life can make a dramatic difference and make you feel incredibly alive in your 30s and your 40s. I truly feel more alive today at the age of 44 than I did for most of my late 20s into my 30s. And that is a result of shifting my mindset, taking risks and pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Sometimes I know life has circumstances where you can't take big risks, but there are things that you can do on a small scale to make yourself feel more in command and more in control of your life. So I hope that this video encourages you to see that you can start over in your 30s. It is possible and you can create the life that you want. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of our community. My name is Daniel Mitson Short. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for improving yourself.